subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Salesforce Marketing Cloud Email Specialist. So let's get started. Question number 1, What is the CanSpam Act? Your answer is, can spam is the popular name for the U.S. law regulating commercial email that went into effect on January 1, 2004, the Controlling the Assault of Non-Solicited Pornography and Marketing Act of 2003. As per can spam legislation, all commercial emails must include a viable internet-based opt-out mechanism, which must be active for a minimum of 30 days after you send the email. Moreover, you have to display your company's physical mailing address within the body of your email. Question number 2. List the restrictions on marketers as per the can spam legislation? Your answer is 1. Use a false or misleading name. 2. Use a subject line that masks the purpose of the email. 3. Harvest email addresses off the internet. 4. Launch dictionary attacks. 5. Use open relays to send email. Question number 3. What are spam filters? Your answer is Many ISPs use filters to sort legitimate emails from junk or spam for their users. Most common spam filters attempt to filter those sending unwanted emails based on sending reputation and deliverability statistics, meaning that it is important that your mail is easily identifiable as being wanted and not being unsolicited. Question number 4. What is the use of address book strategy? Your answer is Implementing an address book strategy helps you optimize deliverability on your email campaigns. To maximize the number of subscribers who add you to their address book, and minimize the number of sends that end up in a bulk or spam folder, add address book instructions to your email. The easiest way to provide these instructions is to use the Add to Address Book tool. Moreover, the Add to Address Book tool is a hyperlink to address book instructions for all of the major email providers. Question number 5. What are master detail relationships? Your answer is, closely linked objects together such that the master record controls certain behaviors of the detail and subdetail record. For example, you can define a two-object master detail relationship, such as account expense report, that extends the relationship to subdetail records, such as account expense report expense line item. Question number 6, define many-to-many -many relationships? Your answer is, a many-to-many -many relationship allows each record of one object to be linked to multiple records from another object and vice versa. Moreover, one can use master detail relationships to model many-to-many -many relationships between any two objects. Question number 7. What are lookup relationships? Your answer is. Lookup relationships are similar to master detail relationships, except they don't support sharing or roll-up summary fields. The main objective of lookup relationships is to link two objects together. Question number 8. Explain external lookup relationships? Your answer is. An external lookup relationship links a child standard, custom, or external object to a parent external object. When you create an external lookup relationship field, the standard external ID field on the parent external object is matched against the values of the child's external lookup relationship field. Moreover, external object field values come from an external data source. Question number 9, what do you understand by indirect lookup relationships? Your answer is, an indirect lookup relationship links a child external object to a parent standard or custom object. Moreover, when you create an indirect lookup relationship field on an external object, you specify the parent object field, and the child object field to match and associate records in the relationship. Question number 10, what is a hierarchical relationship? Your answer is, a hierarchical relationship is a special lookup relationship available for only the user object. It lets its users use a lookup field to associate one user with another that does not directly or indirectly refer to itself. Question number 11, what is center? Your answer is. Center stands for click-through rate which shows the percentage of people who received your email and followed through with the call to action you suggested. This metric can provide valuable insights for reformatting and planning future campaigns. Moreover, it also compares email campaigns to see if one did better than another. Question number 12. Define CRM? Your answer is. 
The CRM is a technology for managing all your company's relationships and interactions with customers and potential customers. It is basically intended to improve business relationships to grow your business. Moreover, CRM system also helps companies stay connected to customers, streamline processes, and improve profitability. Question number 13. What is marketing automation? Your answer is. Marketing automation is technology that manages marketing processes and multifunctional campaigns, across multiple channels, automatically. Moreover, marketing automation helps with lead generation, nurturing, and scoring, as well as with measuring overall ROI on campaigns. Question number 14. What is the use of marketing automation? Your answer is. Marketing automation lets you implement a digital marketing strategy without having to manually press send on each and every email message, campaign, or post you create. Good automation tools help you identify your audience, design the right content, and automatically trigger actions based on schedules and customer behavior. Question number 15. Why should one prefer Salesforce Optimizer app? Your answer is. The Salesforce Optimizer app analyzes more features than the existing PDF report and in a more interactive and actionable format. Moreover, it quickly identify issues that require immediate attention by using the sortable list view. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.